Welcome to your OSAN 2-Minute Report. I'm Senior Airman Angeline Pangolinan. In spring of this year, Airmen at Osan Air Base welcomed the return of the Patriot Express, the contract airline that transports airmen to and from the United States and bases in Japan and Korea. With more customers than ever, the Osan Passenger Terminal quickly outgrew its existing facility. But soon they'll be moving into a brand new terminal. Uh, this is our passenger service counter. This will be used for all Space A passengers to sign up, also get their flight information, and uh, this is where the roll calls will be held as well. At a cost of nearly $21 million, the new facility offers several amenities that the old terminal lacked, including a baggage carousel. And this is where uh, immigrations and all the departure gates are located. The escalator is a great feature because uh, it will just ease going up and down to the second floor. The new terminal provides much needed improvements for passengers as they arrive and depart from Osan. But it also helps the passenger terminal staff. There's a 540 percent increase in size. Uh, a lot of things are automated where they used to be manual, so it'll definitely speed up the process on the arrival and departure side. Contractors are putting the finishing touches on the new terminal, and the ribbon cutting for the facility is slated for the end of September. While the Air Mobility Squadron welcomes a new facility, Osan Civil Engineers are starting a seven-month demolition project to clear out old military family housing units. Right now, the site is sitting on about eight acres of prime real estate that we don't have anywhere else on Osan. So we are taking them down, and then we are going to put up either a child development center or a chapel or new family housing. Uh, nothing is firm right now, but those are just some ideas that we have right now. The Mustang Valley Village homes were built in 1980 and have been kept empty since 2008. And that's your Osan 2-Minute Report. I'm Senior Airman Angeline Pangolinan.